Okay, some of you have asked just how easy is it to rebuild these atomizers? Extremely easy. These are my upgraded coils. They are the same exact size and shape as the original Puffco, but they have thicker leads going into it and thicker wires inside. They last so much longer. So when inevitably your Puffco atomizer cracks the element, you take it apart, toss that old element, and put a Mr. Bonza element in. Take the pin out, save your little rubber washer. This is something I plan on having on the site eventually, but until then, let's save these for future use. So you're left with an empty shell. You have your ceramic riser, you have your rubber grommet, and you have your center pin. Get your rebuild jig. Straighten your leads. And put your heater on like so. On top of the heater. We put the riser. That just slides on top and goes right in the hole. Now this is all this jig is made to center all of this the ceramic piece fits just inside the second layer and the heater fits right inside the first layer that centers everything and gets it ready to put into the atomizer from there you take your case and slide it over the jig with the rebuilt unit So what you should have looks like that. I pull one wire over to the slot and leave one wire dead center. Slide your rubber washer over the center pin, but outside of the other one. Push it on and we're most of the way there. From there, you add your pin Some people snip right here. You can do it either way. I like to put my pin in to make sure I don't push it inside the body of the atomizer. So place your pin in and that's what you're left with. And then take your side cutters or your super close snips. You can buy these on my site and get as close as you can. You do not want this to short out. So you just snip and snip. And what you're left with is a perfectly centered rebuilt atomizer that's better than any one you'll get from Puffco. They last much longer, they're a little hotter, and I even clean my inserts with water now because if a little bit splashes on it and doesn't even crack it, they're amazing. Now thermal shock will still break these just because they're ceramic and that's the nature, but they don't wear out like a Puffco one. Enjoy, guys.